Hi, welcome to a brand new video on teaching. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button and see you at the end of the video. Hi there, today I'd like to talk about the Delta Module 1. As you probably know, there are two parts, they are known as papers, in the Delta Module 1 examination and each paper is represented by a different set of tasks. Today we'll be doing paper 1. This paper consists of five different tasks. In this video I'm going to cover two of these five tasks, starting with the task number 4. By the way, here is the table with marks available for each task, you can check this out later. In the task number 4, you are basically given an essay-like text written by a learner and you are supposed to talk about its positive and negative sides. Let's take a look at this task a bit closer. Here it reads that you need to outline a total of 4 strengths and weaknesses of its organization, accuracy of grammar, range of lexis and accuracy of lexis. It simply means that you need to provide either three strengths and one weakness, or two strengths and two weaknesses. Also, while talking about these strengths and weaknesses, you need to cover each aspect. But more importantly, remember to provide only one example, as your rubric states, because if you provide more than one, the second example of yours will not be credited anyways. Although, it might be quite easy to understand what you're supposed to write in accuracy of grammar, a range of lexis, and accuracy of lexis. The organization aspect can raise a question or two, like, what am I supposed to include here? Let me show what you're expected to write in here. And also take a look at the examples how you need to organize your answer. First off, this would be an example of a good layout. An examiner wouldn't have a hard time checking this work because everything is laid out clearly, properly and precisely. However, this layout is rather perplexing, since first of all, it outlines 9 strengths and weaknesses, and second of all, a candidate included organization twice, which simply means that the second point will be ignored. Speaking of the task 5, it's safe to say that this task is a lot more time consuming than the rest of 4 and it also contains more scores you can get. But before we dive into this, I have to mention that you'll probably need these words to complete this task successfully. And if you want to get a higher score, you need to make sure you know how to spell them correctly, otherwise your score will be lowered. In the task number 5, they basically give you the text, this time it's not written by a learner. And you need to do 5 different tasks on this text, and let's take a look at the examples. Task 5a requires you to enlist 5 features of the text that are characteristic of its genre, plus you need to provide one example for each feature. Here, pay attention to what they say about the layout feature. At times they want you to include this, at other times they do not. Examples of these features are as follows. Feel free to hit the pause button if you need it. The task 5b is absolutely easy, you just need to comment on the use of articles and that's it. Take a look at the examples and see for yourself how easy it is. You shouldn't think much here, but you might want to learn how to write fast though. The task 5c1 is easy peasy as well, however knowledge of the names of different tenses might come in handy here. Take a look at the examples. The task 5c2 might be quite hard though, if you are not friends with phonetics, because here you need to know the following. The task 5D is a piece of cake, however you might want to learn what an aphoric reference is and what is the difference between defining and non-defining relative clauses. Plus you need to be familiar with all the types of adverbs. Just take a look at the examples. Thank you a lot for watching, share this video with your friends and check out my other videos. See you in the next video.